Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing very well. So today we have a viewer suggested build for the Blight. Somebody left this on one of my YouTube comments. So if you would like to leave your own build down below, then go ahead and maybe I'll make a video of it. So in this video, we are using Plaything, Pentimento, Tinkerer and Deadlock along with Vigo's Journal and the Blighted Crow. So this is kind of like a stealth Blight build, which before these games, I was pretty skeptical of, but I played two games and in both games, it actually works out really well. So I hope you enjoy. Leave a like and subscribe if you do and i'll see you in the first game wow midwitch for this build actually could be good um i think i filmed one video since the new blight changes so i'm not exactly um the most confident i've ever been with blight at the moment oh yeah, yeah, the new collision is going to make, like, little hits like that really hard. I was breaking that just in case she decided to vault that window. She did not, though, so... I'll take that hit. Thank you very much. Now I can rush. There we go. Can I get there? Is that two Tinkerers? Damn. Hello. Oh, good job, good job, good job. Yeah, like I said, bit rusty with Blight. Well, really rusty with Blight, actually. I have not played as him in a... very, very long time. Are you kidding me? I thought I played that perfectly, but I brought the pallet instead of hitting her. Deadlock's on this gen now, which is a bit of a waste. I'm going to rush now if she doesn't drop it. Good, 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 good. A little bit of a double done there, it looks like. Did she? No. Wow, that was a bump. Oh yeah, it's so much, so much harder now. Like, you so, you stick to things a lot more now than you used to. Which I know was the point, but it does make navigating tight spaces a little bit harder. Well, a lot harder, actually. Like, this is going to be so hard for me. Never mind, actually, that wasn't too bad. I'm getting a lot of pallets out of the way. Um, She is making this chase last quite a while. Where did, where did she go? Where did, excuse me? She's back here. It's all good. It's another strong pallet out of the way. I am undetectable now, so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to... Well, I'm not undetectable now. When I rush, I'll be undetectable. So I'm going to try and catch some people off guard. The problem is Blight is that he is really loud. That's that built. He should have stayed in that locker a lot longer there, expecting me to... Well, waiting for me to go into my cooldown. Sorry, Bill, but I'm going to play this. Are you kidding me? He vaulted that at the perfect time. I'm actually, like, choking right now. I have to break this. Oh, my God. I do have a lot of pallets out of the way. But not enough. They always manage to find more. I don't know if anyone's running windows or what. This pallet's gone, though, so I get this now. Nice. Uh, I do a little bit of slugging, I think. A little bit. Need the pressure. She doesn't really have anything to use up here as well, so. Can remote hook and get to Bill as well. Wait, there's a gen right behind me that's really far along. Or is that the gen below me I can hear? No, it's this gen. I'm undetectable now. That's nice. No rush is needed. Someone's destroyed a totem. So that's a pentimental stack. I expect someone to be here. I'm not rushing just because I make so much noise when I do. And it kind of defeats the purpose of being stealthy. That's what I was thinking when I saw this build. I was thinking... It's kind of like Blight. Like he does have stealth add-ons. Well, one stealth add-on. But he's so loud. Like, I think it's even louder than, like, Oni and stuff. Like, Oni's obviously louder, but 
uh, I don't know. I just feel like it's easier to catch people off guard as only than it is as bloat. They are trying to get their plaything totems done though, which is good. She might be back on this totem here. No, she is not. Well, there's someone though. Good hit. She's dropping as well, which is going to slow her down quite a lot. Where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? She went this way. Yeah, this is where dropping all those pallets is going to hurt them. I'm going to just pick up. I don't care. Okay, one more rush to get me down here. They just tried one of the pentamentos. You know, one hawk right in front of me? No, 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 you're not going to. Not respecting it. Okay, she actually got it. <laughs> I was expecting to expect me to do a little bit of a dance there. That's the problem with like loops like this. I am just bad at playing as new blight. That's okay though, because she dropped it. I can hit her and then catch up with my speed, which is nice. I don't have to use uh, any rushes for that. I catch her in the same spot I caught the other Sable before. Okay, Pentimento is definitely doing its job, though. I'm really glad they're actually um, cleansing plaything. That's another thing with this build I was a bit confused about, was combining Vigil's Journal with plaything. But I guess for the sake of Pentimento, it's good. That is a, another undetectable with Tinkerer. I can bump her. That's a hit. Let's bonk this. Get my brushes back and then chase him. It's actually kind of worth kicking gens now with Pentimental up because um, it takes a little bit longer to to do the gen and um, like overwrite the regression that's happened. He's got the right idea there running into that building. Wait. Oh, I thought I had Tinker again then, but it's not. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. What a hit. That was so good. That was undetectable value right there. I don't know if that was the Vigo's journal or if that was um what's it called? Plaything, maybe the sable still has plaything as well. I was trying to swing a little bit early there to uh break that pallet instead of getting stunned. She messed up though. No way, that's another tinkerer. Oh that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. But plaything, not plaything, sorry, pentamental might help me there. I should be able to cut the gen off. Oh wait, no, Deadlock actually saved it. No way! I've got to kick it. I need to slow down. He's running back around here. Good play! God damn, that's a good dodge, I can't even be mad. Well played again. Jesus, Bill. You're an absolute god. He's going to drop it now. Once again, I enjoyed the stun instead of breaking the pallet, which I actually hate. That's a good hit, though. I expected that, but somehow still fell for it. I'll hit you. Try and confuse some people. Try and get them a little bit scared. I do not know where they went. Did they go back down to the gen? They did. Yeah, like, look at that. Like, you just can't use his power, like, through so many different places. Now you just bump like that. that it kind of reminds me of how Blight was on the PTB, like, when he first came out. And he was just an absolute nightmare to play. I remember I got this map on the PTB. And it was so hard playing him. Like, I'm going to bump now, so even though I'm undetectable. Nice. I got to bonk this remote hook her and get back down to that gen. Did she drop? She did. Damn, this is hard. This is hard. I do have um, a couple more pentamental stacks that I could get. Oh, nice one, Mr. Skillcheck here. God, 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 God. Oh, 
I don't even know if I'm going to bother with the other pentimentals because as long as one's up, the gens are slower. And um, that's all I really need right now is to slow down the gens. She's dead. Good, 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 good. Wow, okay. Um, I actually think this build did kind of work out. It, I'm going to be honest with you. When I read it, I was a bit... I was quite skeptical. I still am not 100% sold on it. But um, yeah, I think the Undetectable probably has gotten me a few free hits. Um, the information with Tinker is nice. The slowdown from Deadlock and Pentimento is nice. I think it's, all, it's always nice as well to use add-ons on Blight that aren't the usual ones that everyone runs, like, you know, double speed or double Iris. So using something like this that's a bit more interesting and a lot of survivors probably don't even know about is pretty good. And there you go, that is like the perfect timing. So, I'll give I'll give Bill Hatch a Wretched Shop a... I mean, this map has good and bad things. It's a bit more easy. Oh my god, I got speed. I didn't get speed in the last game. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That actually feels amazing. Oh, what a hit. That was so good. I wasn't convinced I was going to get that. I was undetectable as well there. So that gave me a really good free hit. Um, Kind of hard to control, especially when you've got to gauge how far the survivor's going to get. I'm going to go her. She has another hit. Good, 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 good. Try and spread out some damage a bit, especially while I've got the speed. Pop that pallet for me. Thank you. Oh, such a bad idea. Honestly, going for vaults and stuff. Sorry, I did not expect to do that. Yeah, going for vaults and stuff when you've got the speed on is not a good idea. Especially camping a window like that. I heard the Zarina then, but I'm not going to bother with her. I'm just going to get this hook. Zarina is somewhere over here, I know. There she is. She's just healed up. I bump off that. It's so, it's so, like, sticky. I suppose it's the camp that. Now, she'll drop it. I'm going to pretend to hesitate again, and then actually just... Okay, yeah, she played that well. Good job. This one is much harder to play against Blight. Yeah, yeah you just got to be patient with hits like that. She was doing that really well. If I was a bit more panicky, I would have definitely missed her. This, you used to be able to slide it really well, but now you kind of just have to... I'm going to do this to force her to drop the pallet. And then get a quick break with my power. There goes a plaything, which is good. I'm going to get a free hit on you as well now. I don't want to light Pentimento just yet, because um, she's me right back on it, probably. Yeah, I swung a little bit earlier there just to make sure I broke the pallet. And now I get over here. Hello, where are you going? Why did I swing? I think I was trying to M2. She did not know I was there. <laughs> Good to know. Somebody tried getting a flashlight saver that did not work out. There's some uh, undetectable value. Let's go light this up now. Odds are they'll be right back on it, but... It's fine. Hello, Sable. I have hooked somebody else now, so this is completely fair. She makes that. I go around. Oh, okay. Well, that probably got picked up on the recording, but... You know, I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> that My computer does that quite a bit recently, I'm going to be honest with you. And I don't know what's causing it. As far as I know, everything should be fine. Well, I suppose I to go for that pallet. Good, good job. There goes the penty. I did the most obvious, like, fake of my life there. She still fell for it. Okay, undetectable. Let's try and get around to main, which is where I expect they are. Nice. I think she knew I was coming and just hoped that I wouldn't check it, but I had a feeling that someone was in there. And luckily I had one more rush left. Oh, 
Oh, good job, good job. I forced it to stay at this pallet because it's weak. Yep. I could have just broken the pallet there while I was blinded, but it would have given a distance and that chase ended up being a lot easier. I need an invitation. If I could remote hook now into basement, that would be really nice. Hello. I get that if she goes for the window. Yeah, just about. Why are you here? Oh, I thought it was you I could hear who was injured. I'm not going to kill her, but it, it can't hurt to injure her. You are here. Good, good, good. I always have like one rush and it's just like perfect. Because I keep thinking, I'm like, oh, I'm out of brushes, I can't get hit here. And then I'm like, oh no, actually I have one more that I can get hit with it. That's happened twice now in that building. I'm going to do this and see if she falls for it. She did. Oh, and I got bloodlust at the perfect time. The way she was looking behind her then kind of told me she had dead art. There's an invitation in the shack, I think, so I'll grab that. There it goes, the penalty, but it's time wasted. I mean, I'm at four gens, like, I don't feel um, too stressed out. They do have the main gen tinkered, though, now. If I try and go a little bit of a roundabout way, and then hopefully catch someone now, like that. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I wanted to do that really wide so that um, they wouldn't hear me bumping and rushing, and that was actually really good. No, undetectable blight might not be as bad as I thought. Okay, that's fine. That's not fine, actually. Oh, I did that a little bit funky and it actually almost worked. Ah, uh, okay. That was interesting. I'm going to enjoy the stun now and then just walk through. Gotta assume she's got DS or something. Yeah, why would you body block someone who's not even been hooked yet? Hit me with your DS, then I don't I don't care. Oh no, she had DS. What am I gonna do? Oh no, she blinded me. Okay, I'll stink her. I think more important than killing her. I could have killed her then just to be like, ha. Huh. I bump her. God hit. As we were falling as well. That's amazing. Hee 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 hee. Remote pilot break. See, they're so stupid. It's so stupid. I don't think they should be in the game. But, you know, if I'm playing killer, what am I going to not do it? <laughs> You're dead. You could have been dead a long time ago as well. So, No, no one's here this time. One's back there though. Let's kick this and then go for them. Oh, is it because they've given up? Oh, they're not winning. Very quiet. That's funny. She got healed, but then she was exposed as well, so she went down immediately. Nice. Again, that was a case of just not panicking and rushing. Like, I had to trust there that I had the time to get that. I'm going to pretend I'm going this way. She saw that coming. Where? Oh, she's there. Haha, <laughs> nice wall. No dead hard. I don't want to let her get unhooked, though, for free. Yeah, it just makes the game go on longer than it needs to. She gets that vault, but it does not lead anywhere. Oh, it gives a life, actually, which is good for her. Really? Nice. That works. Actually, I was going to say I'll just let this Nia go, but is she the one who body blocked so she could use her DS? Because, uh... That's a... 
That's a no hatch move for me. That will be the end for this video. I really do hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you would like to support the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.